your voice of the valley, AM 1450 KBMW. Turnable Office, and we got a brand new segment for you folks. And I know you guys remember we did a weekly uh, interview segment last year with uh, area athletes, and we're carrying that over. It's going to be very similar, but uh, this time around, sponsored by Optimum Rehab. So make sure to uh, give Optimum Rehab a call if you guys uh, need to rehab any uh, sports injuries. And someone, coincidentally, uh, who's going to be in here today uh, is coming off of an injury, Olivia Hansen. And she is joined by her fellow senior golfer, London Norick, and uh, other sports, I'm sure, as well. How's it going today, ladies? Good. Going good. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how. We're eventually going to dive into that rehab process. But that was kind of a happy little accident. We didn't, we didn't bring you on specifically because we knew we uh, you hurt your knee last winter. <laughs> I don't know if you got any injuries, uh, London, to speak of. So. Nope. All right, you got to carry that over to her. So yeah, drink a lot of milk or whatever you're doing. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, you guys are into your senior year of golf, and uh, you guys actually kicked off the season pretty much before everybody. Like, uh, the fall sports uh, kind of began with you guys, and how fun's it been so far? You guys are placing third, it seems like, every meet. Yeah, it's been going good. We packed in a bunch of meets at the beginning, mm -hmm. so we've been yeah. really busy, but it's nice to have this week off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice to get it in before the school year starts, London? Yeah, that's yeah, nice. And uh, you guys also, this is a pre-recorded interview, uh, full transparency, so it's not that weird when I asked them, how was your guys' first day of senior year? <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Everything you hope for and more? Yep, everything. <laughs> everything, yeah, it's senior year, you get all those breezy classes, you know, you probably got like back-to-back uh, -back study study halls or something <laughs> like that. Basically. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. I, I did the work internship, so that was a nice little work around uh, any work, uh, but... <laughs> Hope no teachers are watching this. But uh, anyways, a little bit about um, your guys' experience on the golf team. How many years have you guys been doing varsity golf? Um, I think I've been doing it for two to three years. Okay. I think eighth grade or freshman year was my first year in varsity. Okay. I, I'm always interested in kind of the... I, I hate to call it like an obscure sport, but like when I was in high school, it seemed like it was an obscure sport. Uh, how you didn't really have people who just like grew up yeah. knowing they were going to be golfers. How did you guys fall into it? Uh, my parents actually are pretty big golfers. Oh, gotcha. So you, you kind of just always been doing this? Yeah, I would just go out on the course with them and just kind of screw around. And then <laughs> middle school came around, and then I actually had to start to be Oh, gotcha. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> yeah, for me, I didn't start out golfing. I think like seventh grade, I just decided to try it out. But I think I mostly got into it because my brother golfed. Mm -hmm. And then my parents were like, well, you should try it because I was in volleyball too. Mm -hmm. But then I just ended up sticking with golf. I liked it better. Yeah, I like covering Bridger. He's good. He's a good, he was a, was a good golfer. Mm -hmm. And uh, a little bit about um, about people who, I always ask this, it seems like every year, uh, who were people that were kind of uh, good mentors for you coming into it? Uh, some older kids on the team. I think Annika Lisney was a good mentor. Yeah. Oh, Maddie yeah, of Bone. course. Yep, Maddie Bone too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Annika, that's about as good of a golfer that's come yeah. through the program. And then we had like McKenna Kumo and Lily, mm -hmm. Lily Anderson. Yeah. I had McKenna in for an interview as well. She had she, she had one of those funny stories of like how she like fell into it. She was like, "Oh, my sister kind of made me." Yeah. <laughs> like she really seemed like she was down for it, but then she had a lot of fun. And I'm assuming it's because uh, you guys have so much fun with uh, Coach Ralph. Tell me a little bit yeah. about what it's like with him and uh, Coach Tyler Blackwell as well. Um, it's nice because they don't put a lot of pressure on you, yeah. like mm -hmm. other coaches do in Fargo. And like even if you have a bad meet, then like they'll still be proud of you at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, I think they're both really good coaches. And yeah. They, like. Talk well with us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, you definitely get a different treatment from the boys' basketball team. It sounds <laughs> oh, like yeah. <laughs> Ralph. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, don't, I don't see Ralph uh, flipping over any tables at a golf <laughs> meet or anything like that. No. Um, oh, and uh, a little bit about uh, going forward for the senior year. Um, uh, Olivia, I know that you also do basketball at London. Uh, I don't know if, uh, what other sports uh, you are. I forgot to ask where we hopped on. Apologies for that. But uh, Just golf. Gotcha. And a little bit, Olivia, about um, getting ready for the basketball season. I know we had talked about uh, you suffering an injury before that season or during last season. So how excited are you to get back on court this year? Yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't been able to do much to prepare yet because we've been really busy mm -hmm. and I, like limitations. But I'm excited to get into it again. Gotcha. And you guys have a few other seniors on the team as well? I think you guys are yep. for the yeah. golf team. Yeah. We have um, Scout. 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 And then Ella Graves and, and Olivia Nelson. Yep. But That's crazy. I, I, I can't think of like this many seniors like in one bunch <laughs> yeah. for the girls team that I can group. think back. You guys, are, yeah. you guys are spoiled this year. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> you guys are going to enjoy it. Yep. And uh, another one that's also going to loop back to basketball. Sorry to cut you out there. <laughs> but uh, a little bit about... 
Um, the experience that your group has uh, from all the years, I, I told Scout, I remember always getting your guys' submissions for uh, the traveling tournament teams yeah. you guys win. I was like, you guys got to watch out for this grade. <laughs> and now it's finally here, your guys' senior year. How exciting is that? It's exciting. I feel like we all have like, really stuck together. That really makes like each season a lot more fun just because mm -hmm. we're around the same people all the time. We form that bond, I guess. Yeah, that chemistry uh, mm -hmm. for sure carries over. You, it's like you got a little bit of a leg up on competition. Yeah. It's like we're pretty much running it back. <laughs> yeah. Every year. Gotcha. And uh, any plans for next year, guys? Um, you can go first. First, uh, first day of school. So if you don't have it figured out, yeah, don't worry about it. I didn't I know what I was doing at this point. So. Looking into golfing in college mm -hmm. for sure. But... Following the Annika Lisney route? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Out to Crookston? I don't know. I'm just kidding. Yeah, wherever it takes you? I guess. Gotcha. Just gonna have to start one here for NDSS. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm planning to do yet for sports. I think I know what I want to go for for schooling, but I'm not mm -hmm. sure about sports yet. What well, what for school? I'm thinking physical therapy. Oh, coincidentally, yeah. that's, how, that's how it always goes. It's always uh, what was your big injury that mm -hmm. led you into physical therapy? But it, that just shows that there's always physical therapists that are doing such a good job that mm -hmm. make you guys want to. Uh, yeah, I've had some really good ones that mm -hmm. made me find interest in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you got a major picked out London, or still think of that oh, one as well? I'm leaning towards criminal justice or business management. Oh, gotcha. MSUM, uh, that's my alma mater. I, I, know, I know for criminal justice, I know a few people have done their program, and I know the people have done the business program too, but it seems like there's a good business program every college you go to. <laughs> yeah. All right, anything else you guys would like to add uh, regarding your senior year? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Gotcha. Well, excited to see how the next meet goes, and uh, hopefully you guys are heading back to the state tournament again. I'm um, looking forward to see how it goes, guys. Now for a quick word from our sponsor. Getting you back to what you love. We are Optimum Rehab. For over a decade, Dr. Tony Egeman has provided physical therapy services for the people of Wapaton, Breckenridge and surrounding communities. We're a small practice that sees our patients as individuals. Through hands-on techniques, our patients have their treatment plans tailored to their exact needs. Sprains, sore muscles, back pain, achy joints, rehab following surgery, you name it. Optimum Rehab is your answer. When you need exceptional physical therapy, you need Optimum Rehab.